six, nine, Today we're going to test this BLLED controller that is being made by Dutch developer. This is specially made for the Bamboo Lab printers and what it does is it controls your LED lights that you put in extra on your printer. It has some really nice tricks under the sleeves. It will control your LED lights whilst you're printing for your time lapse, environmental light, green light when the printer has been finished, red light if there is any problem or you have a failed print. It has Wi-Fi that goes onto your Wi-Fi manager. Through the Wi-Fi manager, it will connect to your Wi-Fi router and from the router, it will connect to your Bamboo Labs printer. And once it's connected to your Bamboo Labs printer, it will be able to get all the LED lighting information through it onto the chip here and will control it without any problems. Well, that's actually what it's supposed to do, but I must be honest about it. I had problems with it in the beginning. Good news about it, it's fixed for now. I am running a better version of a firmware that disables the Wi-Fi manager that is inside of here. I talked to the Dutch developer through his Discord and he was kind enough to help me and he said, look, I have a better version because I'm trying to fix this issue that's been known by a several people who's been trying it out or using it or bought it from Etsy. So he's aware of the problem. This better version of this latest firmware has fixed the issue for now. I will run through the process with you guys so you know what the latest uh, better version of it looks like. The board itself has these connectors on top that you have, you need a LED light that supports five colors. You have white, warm white, blue, red, green, and the 12 to 24 volts range, which is the power cable here. So you can go from 12 volts up to 24 volts. I'm using it at 24 volts LED lighting and it works fine. And also guys, this is a revision tree. So this is a third version of it, but it's a good looking PCB. You also have this type C connector here to connect your PC to actually set it up. And also here you have ground and power. So we bought this separately. This is a jack that has a proprietary connection here that so you can connect two cables here. And as here, this is ground. Ground is the minus uh, 1224 volts is the plus sign here that you connect to, to this portion here. And then this goes to your LED light, a power adapter, just like that. So you see that the openings are perfectly in line, which is how it's supposed to be. And this is the back plate that you click on here. I think this is the right side. That's it. This is what it looks like. So let's go to the testing and what it looks like to have this in your printer. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So this is the LED lights inside of the printer. As you guys can see on the sides here, I use double-sided tape to fix it on there. And you have also a printed part where the LED lights fixed on, which is this one. So this is on Dutch developers website where you can find the STL files. I will also share a link in the description below so you can easily find them. So what it does is it also rises up your top glass uh, a little bit like a centimeter above the printer so that the LED lights are in between and that's how it works. So first thing you do, you go to this website here. If you have the normal firmware and you want to put in the experimental firmware as I'm using, you connect to your BL LED and then you press install BL LED controller and then you can either erase the system or you can just go back here. Let's go back and then install via LED controller. And then I'm going to erase device and then next. So it's going to make the full thing completely erased. So this operation takes like around plus minus two minutes. And then after that, you come to the BL LED Wi-Fi setup page. And here you have to scroll a little down and then you can see that there is a SSID that you have to put in of your router and then the password, Wi-Fi password that is, and then the printer's IP address and then the printer's access code you have to fill in here. And then you have to also to fill in the printer's serial ID number and then you press connect. 
of course this is all happening after you connected your BL LED controller through the USB onto your PC and also make sure you follow these steps to install the driver first otherwise it won't even recognize it and now the printer gives you this IP address that you fill in here it'll be different with your end so after that's been done you see every credential on the top of it and underneath there, there is a new option that you can set your brightness level so from zero to a hundred percent you can change it as you like if it was too bright then you can turn dial it a little down and then you press save So thank you guys for watching this review of the BL LED controller. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!